Julie Kay here, helping you find your way in life. Did you know that you can control your thoughts? Did you know that May is Mental Health Month? A whole month is devoted to mental health in America. Um, you may be from anywhere around the country, and we all need mental health and to learn how to have mental health, maintain mental health, acquire mental health. So this was actually supposed to be um, a part of the same video, but it is shorter now. And, and so I was just moving into, and I had to stop my video. Um, I was just moving into Dr. Caroline Leaf's book on Switched on Your Brain and what it's done for me. Um, not that I'm going to share all that today, but just to begin to talk about some facts that she gives in her book that I fully believe and I've proven through using her methods. And I really um, hope to soon get together a group of women where we can have an online um, coaching program to work on our mental health and teach her five steps that she uses in this book and in other books she uses too. But anyway, so what I wanna share in brief today is basically that you can change your thoughts. You can get rid of thoughts that are not good or that you don't want. You can work on your mind. And as the Bible says in Romans chapter 12 too, which is, was a key verse for Dr. Caroline Leaf, one of the beginning verses she began to use with her patients to help them, okay? And it was a, a really key verse in my coaching program that I did for a year with my, my coach, Clustine Herbert, um, who um, I did a whole year program with. It's Romans 12 too, so I'll go ahead and quote it. Um, this is pretty much word for word, but it is be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you may be able to test God's will. And it, and it goes on further than that. And so that verse is saying, it's, it's Paul writing it, but it's God commanding us to not be conformed to the thinking of the world, but to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Now, I fully believe right here, without even looking into what Dr. Caroline Leaf says, um, that God won't command something that he has not enabled us to do. When he commands us to do something, we have the ability to do it. We have the capability of doing it. And he is there to help us with that, especially if we ask him for help, right? So I think that that is um, very important to realize that God in his word, God is good. God is love. God made us. God created you. God created me. He understands us. And he does not tell us to do anything except for because he cares for us. He loves us. He wants us to be successful. He doesn't want us to fail. So he can empower us and he does give us the ability to do whatever he commands us to do. So I think that's important right there. So Dr. Caroline Leaf is a neuroscientist and she is also a Christian, if you want to say that, or a believer in Jesus. And she loves the word of God. The word of God. Here's my Bible right there. She loves the word. Oops, upside down. <laughs> it's my mom's Bible, actually. So she loves the word of God. So what she shares in her book, one a couple facts I'm going to share today, and we're going to have, this is the first of an ongoing series on mental health, okay, and things, things we need to know that are facts and truth so to help us so that we can be empowered to work on our thought life, change our thought life, renew our minds, um, get rid of toxic thoughts, get rid of unhealthy thoughts. Bring in healthy thoughts. These are all just different ways of wording what I'm talking about. Okay. But one thing she established is that just a few decades ago, scientists still believe that the brain was a fixed hardwired machine. So in other words, they believed that all mental health conditions, issues, problems, um, all were irreversible. They, that they were fixed, that they were brain damage base was incurable and that's the way it used to be and I think most of us today realize there's some hope and there's some help for that but you may not think that or you may not really believe that to some degree nor maybe you think you know you cannot get free from your thoughts and or have control over your thoughts um, 
Well, I'm here to say that that's not true and to give you hope, to give you empowerment, to give you uh, freedom, hopefully, and um, joy. And like she says, well, she puts it on the front here, the key to, this is the key, what she shares in this book is the key to happiness, thinking, and health. So, and I think, you know, peak happiness is from within, we can have that despite circumstances. Have I arrived? No. <laughs> have I come far in that? Yes. And I love to help others with the things that I've learned for myself. And her steps are part of what has helped me. So um, that is what they believe. So let me let me just go over a few. So in other words, they believe that strokes, any stroke damage was irreversible, traumatic brain injury, learning disabilities, PTSD, depression, even aging, etc. Okay, we're all irreversible. So she is she was and is not only a student of science but she's a, a student of the word of god kind of already said that but i want you to know that so she believes for example with that verse i think that was one of the first verses she utilized but other ones too she believed that was a truth that needed to be applied to her patient's care and help them overcome their deficits or their mental health conditions that maybe i'm sure went with the physical things too and her therapeutic techniques that she used, that she was developing at the time, um, proved that brains can be changed, that brains can be changed, that thoughts can be changed, that the actual physical brain can be changed. Yes, it can be. In the most, even in the most challenging neurological situations, even in the most challenging neurological situations, she says. We are not victims of our biology or our circumstances, is what Dr. Leaf says. We are not victims of our, of our biology, the way we were, you know, created, our genetics, etc., or by our circumstances, our situations, our life, our life experiences, etc. Even when it comes to severe abuse and things like that, how we react to events and circumstances of life can have an enormous impact on our mental and even physical health. I fully believe that. Fully believe that how we react, how we respond. And here's a few other ways of putting it, how, well, our perspective of it, our belief system about the events or the people or about our higher power or no, no belief in that at all. Our beliefs hugely affect us. Um, our attitude, our, you know, all of it. So we can get rid of toxic patterns and thinking and replace them with healthy thoughts. That's part of what she says. We can get rid of toxic thinking and replace them with healthy thoughts. So unhealthy versus healthy. Um, she uses toxic, which is good, bad, um, negative, and she does use the word ne negative versus positive, but she moves more into the truth more than using the word positive. So if I, I use those words too, um, and I think they're good because sometimes negative for me is just, it's not that it's all bad, but it's kind of like evaluating, is it healthy for me to have that? Is it productive? Is it moving me forward or not? Um, but sometimes I label my negatives in my brain as overthinking or over trying to figure things out or over trying to figure out the future or just being too indecisive. Um, or it could be literally I'm upset with somebody and I'm, or I'm, I'm dealing with thoughts that are about rejection and because I've struggled with that in my life. Um, so all kinds of things could be put under that negative or that unhealthy. And it's not because the initial thought or the situations like we should never talk about it. No, we have to be realistic. We have to be honest. I believe that's hugely important and we'll talk about that, but just, just wanted to mention that. So new thoughts and can grow new thoughts can grow and so that's what i want to share for today is as far as the beginning of this series or the second video because on the last one i shared some history of the mental health um in, in america and how it came to be through this man named um uh, i keep forgetting his first name clifford w beers last name is beers so Anyway, just um, hope you get something from this. Please comment and please share this video out because other people, I'm sure you know someone who not only has um, and needs 
help with their mental health, but they would admit it and they know they need help. Okay. So I just want to help any way I can. And um, so if you're seeing this video and you can share it out with somebody, that would be probably maybe very helpful to them. Could be life changing. You never know. So this is Julie Kay helping you find your way through grief and loss. And um, you'll see this is my logo, Julie Kay helping you find your way through life, overcoming circumstances and situations. So what I'm going to be sharing applies can apply to grief and loss issues, but really is, is to help you all around in your life, okay? Even through trauma issues, etc. So God bless. Until next week, signing off. Talk to you later. Bye.